Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite and Neil Chero. Thanks very much for joining my channel today. It is very much appreciated. I know that the screen is black. Um, I basically just want to do um, some channel messages, um, some things that came in through the night, my dreams that I had last night, and messages that I want to um, put across because I had a mother figure a mother figure that is rooting for you, Scorpio, okay? Somebody in the spirit world that pretty much wants to see your happiness, okay? All right, Scorpio, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa, okay? All right, Scorpio. Um, I have got cards here, Scorpio. You can hear me shuffle them, Okay. Um, Scorpio, what I want to tell you is that um, I feel for some of you Scorpios that you think that or you feel that you might be wasting your time on something or somebody, basically because you're starting to have trust issues. And once a Scorpio has trust issues, those trust issues can escalate, okay, because you want to know more, you want information. You're wondering, why am I feeling this way? Why am I not trusting a situation? Okay. Um, well, you're probably right not to trust the situation, Scorpio. And I have got some of these channeled messages that are, are um, you know, that I have written down for you. So basically, you're indecisive. You're very indecisive and very disappointed. Okay. Um, especially because some of you may have got information or um, something fell into your lap and this is what's causing the trust issues. You smell the bullshit, Scorpio. You smell the bullshit. And I have the, the Four of Swords and the, and the Chariot card here and I see that some of you are thinking about moving, moving on, moving forward, moving away from um, whatever this connection is, okay? Um, your intuition is starting to spark and... You know, I feel it's because of this spirit, a mother spirit that is trying to, um, you know, move you in the right direction or move you away from the bullshit, okay? All right, Scorpio. So, um, you know, I, if this is a love situation, I feel like, you know, there may be a Cancerian or an air sign that is involved here. And I, I feel that, you know, if, and, and I'm going to include a third party situation, okay? But I kind of feel, Scorpio, that if you are you know, definitely an S, S I, um, I've got the, the King of Swords here, okay? All right. I also have the World card. I also have the Truth and Clarity, Ace of Swords. I have the Seven of Wands. And I also have um, the Eight of Cups. So basically what I've been telling you, Scorpio, is that um, you're starting to see the truth of something. You're starting to think about whether you want to move forward in this situation, remain where you are, or constantly be disappointed. And I do feel that you've put a lot of hard work and effort into this situation, Scorpio, but the world card is here and the A of Cups is here, okay? And I kind of feel that, you know, for some of you that um, com are with somebody who is committed, okay, um, I, I do feel this person wants to rush in, wants to tell you something, but whatever they're telling you is leaving you in a position of not able to, to make a decision whether to stay or go, okay? And I do feel, Scorpio, that you've given this situation um, try after try after try, okay? And even though you do love this person, I feel like that you truly love this person, um, you sort of feel that, okay, well, I can only put so much into this situation because it's not in my hands, okay? And that's the truth, Scorpio, that it's not in your hands. This this other person is, is the one that's playing the cards, okay? You don't have many cards to play with here. And at the end of the day, you know, that you're coming in as wounded. But, um, you know, do you really want to give this another try? Do you really want to give this person? Because there is a disappointment that is going to come your way. All right. Um, it, you're like beating a dead horse, Scorpio. 
So I do feel that, you know, something is going to be revealed to you regarding what is going on in somebody's home. Okay. Um, if this is not somebody's home, Scorpio, this is in your work life. Something is going to be revealed to you. Okay. Um, and, and the sad thing is, Scorpio, is that although this person knows that you are the true soulmate, they know that they can have a better connection with you. They're choosing to stay where they are. And eventually you're going to feel left out in the cold, Scorpio. You're going to feel left out in the cold. So maybe you should open yourself up to other offers. Because whatever they're offering you, Scorpio, is not going to be something that's for the long term. Okay. Um, you're not going to be on the same page regarding what they're offering you, keeping you in a third party and, um, you know, not taking things any further. And while I was channeling Scorpio, a song, it was just a few words that I heard and I looked up the, the words and the words belong to a song. And the song is called... Um, what is the song called? The song is called... Wake Me Up When September Ends, and it's by Green Day. And there was a verse in the song that said, Seven years has gone so fast, like my father come to pass. Wake me up when September ends, okay? Um, this is a wake-up call, Scorpio. September is going to be the wake-up call. Now, either this person is going to walk away in September from you, or walking away from somebody else. Or this could be you, Scorpio, vice versa. But when September comes, there's a connection between the father. Okay? Maybe this person's father was in a similar situation. And this is how your situation is going to end. The same situation their father's ended. Okay? So, uh, or your father's ended. Okay? But... This is very similar because we have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Wheel of Fortune is that, you know, this cycle has come, going to be coming around full circle and there is going to be a brand new beginning, okay? And somebody is going to get hurt in this situation, Scorpio. Someone is going to have sleepless nights because of the what they did not offer to you, what they should have offered to you, okay? Instead, they kept themselves stuck in a situation because they thought that they would get equal give and take where they are. But where they are is a very toxic environment, Scorpio. And you don't need to be part of that environment, Scorpio, because tox toxic environments are going to play with your intuition, are going to play with your energy. This person is an energy stealer. They steal your energy and they go and give it to their partner because their partner is as boring as fucking shit. Okay, they keep repeating the same patterns all the time, especially with you, Scorpio, and I think you've had enough. Things are going to be illuminated. Things are going to be shown with the sun card here. There is a pregnancy possibly around this person. They could be traveling. They could be um, moving house. You could be moving house. You could be moving away from, completely away from this person. Okay, choosing a new direction. And judgment is here, okay? Now, I've got here a period of seven to eight months, okay? And uh, a decision is going to be made. And the decision is going to be to walk away because we have the five of cups. And even though one of you had hope in this situation, somebody's going to walk away. Because the truth is going to be revealed here. You've come in your own reading, Scorpio, the death card endings, new beginnings, transforming, going through an awakening, taking a leap of faith with the full card and becoming single and grounded and, you know, focusing on you, okay? Now, for some of you, you're spying on this person, you, you're watching them or they're, they're, they could be watching you, but I feel like it's you that's watching them on a platform, some sort of platform, or they could be watching you. And there's there's things that you could see but that this person hasn't told you about, okay? And clearly you can see there's no equal give and take in this in this situation, ship, whatever you want to call it, and this person just has player energy, okay? Um, I do feel that for you, Scorpio, you will walk away. 
and you will find your success and you will find a connection somewhere else that's going to give you everything that you need and everything that you could want okay and i do feel that you will find your strength and your courage and whatever is happening to this person about around about september okay there's a tell moment that is coming in somebody is in a self um you know kept themselves in a, in an in prison or they could be going to prison who knows but they're in a self-imposed prison mentally feeling that they can't leave a situation feeling that they're trapped in there okay intuitively you already know this scorpio and you know that this person really does love you the connection is with you but they will continue to keep you in a third party and continue their sneaky behavior and you know you deserve an offer scorpio you deserve um you know the kind of treatment that you know most people get in in a relationship a good relationship because you do know how to have one okay but i'm telling you now scorpio come september you decide to walk away from this puts this person in a position of having to deal with their decisions having to make a decision and the decision is that this person will come towards you and they will give you their cup of love okay because you are the wish fulfillment so we've got two cards here indicating wish fulfillment this person will apologize to you they want to make you an offer this could be somebody who turns out to be somebody from the past they have a lot of memories with you scorpio even if this person isn't from the past you know you change this person's life look at that the ten of cups scorpio okay the love offer that is coming in with the ace of cups justice is, is in your favor scorpio just make that decision i feel like it will drag out before you turn your back and you know go in a different direction and and you know leave this heavy burden behind but definitely somebody is going to have a victory here scorpio um i wish you well there will be a part two to this and thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye for now